Hi there, and welcome back to Triplicate, and uh, kind of getting into the grand grandfathering role, and it seems toys get passed on. This belonged to friends of ours whose children are now in their mid-teens, uh, so obviously haven't used it for a good number of years, and parents just passed on a big box of stuff like this and grandson took a uh, shine to it and wanted to, me to get it going um, so I said oh I'll put some batteries in it for you and so I did and didn't film that or I attempted to and here's the battery compartment so I opened up the battery compartment. Come on. Come on. And I found some somewhat corroded batteries inside. Um, I'll try and zoom you in. Have a look at that. It's not too bad. It's these springs that seem to have got a bit corroded. Whoops, there you go, a lot corroded and gone. And that spring has gone and these bits of metal are all very corroded. So I uh, said to the poor grandson, can't get that going, the, it's broken. But he keeps picking it up and waving it at me and saying, can we get it going? Um, so here I am um, decided to make a quick video of it so uh, <clears throat> not only hopefully we have a working toy we have a video so let us get into it I think we're gonna have to take it apart and clean up these or at least at the back off clean up these battery terminals and see what we can do because of course uh, its previous owner stopped playing with it and it got put to one side and then it got put in a cupboard and these screwing battery compartments are fine stop the small children trying to eat the batteries but it's even less incentive to take the batteries out before you put it away so I wonder how many brightly coloured pieces of plastic end up in landfill because the batteries haven't been taken out so let's grab a screwdriver and see if we can get the back off okay got most of the screws out just a couple to go Right, is she going to come? Mm, no. no. Yep, no, maybe. Oh, there's this one in here that I haven't got yet. Right, one screwdriver. It looks like it might be. goes there and it's got the battery okay so here she is what have we got that is just a keyboard 
working suspiciously like a basic calculator set up going to that which is a display um, and that which is just LEDs and a uh, we have to get it going to see what some of this is and I'm guessing down there on that display board there is a calculator chip under a block of pitch what's all that? what's all this here? don't know never mind we might have a look if we can get it going it doesn't look like it's too badly made Mike Which is the microphone, that's this thing. Doesn't look like battery gunk has leaked into the main thing. Unfortunately, the uh, batteries are over this bit, which is just a thing for, I don't know. It's a pretend shock belt thing. Doesn't seem to work terribly well. Anyway, let's get rid of that and have a look at these batteries. So if we bend these tabs up, they'll probably break off. <laughs> However, let's see if we can get a small pair of pliers and actually pull these out. Or a small screwdriver underneath, perhaps. Right, so what I'm going to do is mark where brown goes there, black goes there and red goes there. Turn on the solder and iron, pull the wires off. And see if we can get those out of there. Okay, uh, the memory card ran out of memory. So lost uh, I don't know, a few minutes. Uh, in that time, disconnected the battery and also disconnected the speaker so I could get the base all the way off and succeeded after a bit of work chiseling let me put this one of these out of here and they are quite hard to get out so we need to get the other three out and then we can assess the damage we seem to have little tabs which just stick up into I guess little recesses and stop it coming out so if I can I say, I don't know, something else. Different angle. Right, let's see if we can get this
we go. And that one's a bit on the manky side. Right, I shall now go and see what's wrong with the printer. Okay, there's another one out after a fight and as you can see the positive side is alright but the negative side is ugh. So we're going to have to deal with that. It all seems to be the negative side of batteries that are leaks. So onward and upward we will come to get remaining two out Okay, that one is <coughs> all over, not too good, and it's taking a bit of beating getting out. Anyway, we'll see what we can do with it. And the final one... Well, it came out a bit easier, and that one's uh, well past its best as well. So, shall we see if we can put these on the wire wheel and clean them up a bit? We're going to have to replace all these springs. They're all shot. So, and get rid of some of this gunk off the desk. Okay, here we have. Where is it? The Dremel with the wire wheel on the end. And here we have a grubby, corroded battery contact and works better if you turn the power on. Right, terrible hand cam. Okay, so here they are, cleaned up as best I can clean them up, which to be honest isn't very good. So the next job, the original batteries would... Let me see if I can... We're hooked under that little tab there to hold them down and then that was pushed down. I'm proposing to try and solder them on. If I can get solder to stick onto this grotty metal, if I can't, we might be in trouble. And I have here a 
old grossy battery hole which I'm going to nick the springs off but firstly we're going to see if we can solder onto these things because if we can't we're wasting our time okay so we'll try on the I guess the grottiest one first so here we have standard lead free solder and see if that is going to stick right we will try anywhere oh, there's some lovely fumes coming off there that's not looking good Nope. So let's try the red group. This is serious flux, which I acquired from somewhere. I do not know where, but a lot of years ago, and it's a bit yucky. And let us try leaded solder, yeah. Guilty secret. Ugh, I really does stink that stuff. Nope, not gonna happen. Okay, so tried one of these instead of the wire wheel and that got it looking passably shiny. So, uh, turn the iron off. Talk amongst yourselves. Come on. Let's see if this is going to stick on. I'm liking that, that's sticking nicely. Right, so we now we need a spring. And here's a spring, the base is a bit wider than the old one, so we're going to try and get some solder on out here, if we can. That looks like it's good. Let's hope. Back over here. We can solder to this stuff. Right, hold up.
that. Right, I am calling that one good. So, I just need to go and dremel the other two iffy ones and we can get them soldered on. Okay, before we do any more of them, I thought I might just check the one we've done will fit back in and work. What's that? Let's just mark her up. I want to clean this out properly but I'm not going to. So that's negative and it's a single one, so that must be this one. And is it going to fit? I think it is. We're going to make it fit. Whoops. Right, it's in, kinda. These springs have bigger bases than the others, so it fought me somewhat, but I've got it in. I mean, we're just trying to get it working, we're not trying to repair it to new standard because we ain't got new parts to repair it with so there right this one then right we have another string with a fight try and make a bit less of a mess of this one Sorry if my head is in the way. It is in the way, isn't it? Right, that's on. So which one is that? Bits of wood under there. So that's just overhanging and essentially ram it with a screwdriver. This is where all the soldiers, and this is the one that doesn't want to go in. <sighs> Yow! In she goes. Not quite there. <clears throat> Crash. The annoyed if I break it, it's all for landfill anyway. 
Mann. I think that'll be all right. We can get a battery in it. <laughs> yeah, we can get a battery in it. Nice and tight as well. So that just leaves this one, which got broke unfortunately, so that's going to be fun. Because uh, that one, I can't see, oh, that one's here and that one's okay. Because it's just one positive. We can get crud spilt on it. Here is another spring. Just gonna trim that off. Attempt to. Cutters aren't designed for cutting steel, so. There we go. So be it. Can you see that? Yeah. Something like that, so we're gonna try it out. Down some solder there. You know. And some solder at the end of there. I hope we can catch that. I would say that's on. I've been putting too much solder on, I think. Then you do three of them by the third one. Got it all sussed and figured. However, so hopefully. And all right. Well, there we are, all in. We just need the positive of positives. The end here. Like that. So. So we we'll stick three batteries in. Turn her over and see if we can see if we can get four and a half volts across. That's two. Four and a half volts, three point six volts, two point four, three point six, three point nine volts. So that's two batteries. That's 2.6, so it's looking good. So are we going to stick all the wires back on and see if it works? All right, there's the wires. Let us solder the wires back on. And uh, fire her up and see if she works. Now, of course I should have taken this apart. Clipped a power supply onto the battery box and check the thing actually functions before spending four hours. Yep, all afternoon fixing the battery. Fixing the battery holder to find 
the electronics has gone kabooey. I can't imagine the electronics has failed because There was no gunk. Leaked into any of the electrolytes. Come on. Come on. Speak of wires held together with masking tape. Very professional job. Right, hang on. Let's see if we can. Crazy. Caught the case at some point, ah uh, dear. An eight ohm speaker. What me? Right, are we all connected up? Should we? Uh, this went. And no. Just put it back together like that for now. And stick our batteries in. Probably expect to run off three one and a half alkalines rather than. Rechargeables, but I'm not sure I actually have any else lines. Okay. Oh, no. and the screen is. Well, oh, bip, wet bip, and can you see that? There's a zero. So if I go five, six, and what that is. Right across the display, uh, divided by 39 equals. It works. It works. 
the booker works. Let's zoom her out again. <coughs> so, what does the microphone work? Hello? Hello? It does. <laughs> oh, that's going to go down well. Now this thing. Is that all it's supposed to do? If you can see there's a, a little LED flashing in there and the bigger goes bip. But no. There's also a oh my God, piece of a switch in here, supposed to pretend scanning a card which rather dates it. Wonderful. And the cash works if you push the Oh I think that's a victim of uh, over enthusiastic play. Ooh, that's not good. And there's this thing which is just a pretend What's it? Name gone out of my head. Conveyor, which doesn't work terribly well, that's probably been heaved about once too often. And the poor thing's life. So if I off. Well, there we go. Right. Let's get it screwed back together. So there we go, another toy, say from landfill. Hello, hello. And still. Doing calculations on a slightly dim display. However. So was it worth four hours, an afternoon four hours, fixing it? No, nah, probably not. Could I have got some new battery contacts? Maybe, which would have made it a 10 minute quarter of an hour fix, which would have made it worthwhile. Mm. I didn't look to be honest. So, I hope he enjoys playing with it. And uh, grandsons are coming to visit us tomorrow, so we'll see. And, well, the moral of the story, I guess, is mm, you might think it's take the batteries out of your toys but like everything oh it auto powers off how clever you forget or you can't be bothered or you can't find a screwdriver for the little door so I think the moral of the story is buy your children clockwork toys with no batteries in Ah, those were the days. Goodbye.